Hello everyone. I'm back again with a video on Twin Flames. I already, I put out two videos already on Twin Flames. I'm going to leave links to those videos if you'd like to see the whole series. And in this third video, I'm going to be taking all of the feedback. I got a lot of emails from a lot of people about those first two videos. And what I've done is I've taken the top three questions or comments and I'm going to address all three of them in this video so that I don't keep talking about Twin Flames because that seems to be a really big hot topic these days. So here we go. The three top feedback, comments, questions I got from viewers on the Twin Flame topic. The first one was, I got uh, repeated emails about people saying that my teachings, their interpretation of my teachings and non-attachment seemed to give the idea that uh, I diminished the importance of the twin flame connection. So I wanted to, to talk about that. When I teach, non-attachment is a crucial, it's pr pretty much the foundation of my work uh, in love and romance, is the idea of non-attachment. And when I was talking about non-attachment and how I teach about non-attachment is to say that non-attachment is absolutely crucial in you living your twin flame connection with more depth and more intensity and more love. Now, let me give you an example of why attachment is completely unnecessary in any connection, but especially in a twin flame connection. Attachment is born of the ego mechanism and the ego mechanism loves to create a story. So the ego mechanism creates a story that's based on me and you, and you are necessary in order for my life to be fulfilled or my life to be uh, fuller. That's what the ego tells us. The ego tells a lot of stories about me being separated from the world and you being my twin flame or the love of my life and I need you. So th this is kind of the language of the ego and it's the language of attachment. Now let, let's say, for example, that I were to snap my fingers and I could lose, I would lose the ability to speak or to create stories or to create labels around my twin flame. And why am I saying this? Because language is one of the tools of the ego. If I lose language, I lose the ability to tell stories. So let's say that my twin flame is standing right in front of me as soon as I snap my fingers and I lose my language centers. My question is this, would I be able to, would that connection be diminished in any way? Would, would my connection to my twin flame be diminished in any way simply because I can no longer label or tell stories about the twin flame connection? No, right? <laughs> I could remove every single word from my brain. I could remove the ability to put this person on a pedestal. I could remove every single word from my brain and the connection to my twin flame would be as strong as ever. Why? Because the twin flame connection, the foundation of it is love, deep love. It's an energetic connection that needs, it doesn't need any stories. It doesn't need any labels. It doesn't need any attachment. So basically when I talk about non-attachment, I, I am just simply speaking of letting go of storylines, letting go of labels, letting go of the clinging that is so common in romantic relationships. So there's the first uh, comment that I got. The second was a question and the question was this. People were saying that they were in separation phase from their twin flame, so they didn't live, they weren't in any traditional or any type of relationship with their twin flames and they wanted to know if it was okay to have relationships with others. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Here's the thing that I also wanted to throw out there. There's also a possibility, and it's always important for us to remember, there is always a possibility that the person we think is our twin flame is not really our twin flame. So <laughs> that goes back to non-attachment, let go of everything. So I'm just throwing this one out there for you guys to think about. So if you are in separation phase from, or if you're not with your twin flame or the person you think is your twin flame, and someone else materializes in front of you, go for it. Yes, have relationships. I remember one specific email that I got from a, from a viewer and she said, you know, I'm not with my twin flame and these other people have appeared in my life, but I just don't have the same connections. I've tried to have relationships, but it's just not the same thing as with my twin flame. I respect that, that's okay. 
But the, the most important thing that I want to, to tell you guys about this is to please always keep your hearts open. Keep your heart open to what life brings you because in what, from one moment to the next, life may bring you a glorious, beautiful, loving, romantic connection. And if you are holding on to the label or to the storyline of the twin flame and that it must be that other person, you will completely miss connections that life may be wanting to bring you. So heart open, be open to what life brings you in the present moment, live so intensely in the present moment that you are open to any connection that comes your way, if it is for your higher good, if it brings you joy and happiness to your heart. So there's question number two. If you're in, in separation phase from your twin flame, yes, of course, please welcome rela other relationships if they come to you. The, the third question that I got was, uh, this question about if one twin flame is unconscious of the connection, can union still occur in this lifetime? So if I have a twin flame and that twin flame doesn't have any idea what a twin flame connection is, can union still occur? Yes. And here's why. If you trust in the beautiful energetic connection that under, that's underlying a twin flame connection, you will know that this connection is so powerful that the other person can, doesn't have to know one iota about a twin flame connection and that connection, that union will still occur if it is divinely purposed for this, for this lifetime, if you are meant to unite with your twin flame in this lifetime, union will occur. <laughs> trust, trust life, trust the universe, trust the beautiful power of love. If union is supposed to occur in this lifetime, sure, one, one twin flame can be unconscious. It doesn't matter. All hell will break loose. Heaven and earth will fall apart. <laughs> but if you are meant to be with your twin flame, union will occur. Have faith in that. <laughs> but always walk with that beautiful heart open for love in any, in any sense, in any area of life. There you go. The three top questions and comments that I had about Twin Flames. You know where to find me if you have any other questions. Email me at info at christina-lopes.com. And if you love my work or just like it, <laughs> uh, go ahead and like my Facebook page. Check out my other videos on YouTube. I have lots of them. And I hope this has helped on the topic of Twin Flames. Uh, if you have questions about this or anything else, just shoot me an email. I love receiving emails from you all. And I've ho I hope that I've helped with the Twin Flame uh, connection. Uh, and. Let's move on to other topics though. <laughs> Email me questions about something else other than twin flames. <laughs> Have a great week everyone. Love and light to you all.